Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Anthony and I am super excited for this video since I've never done a video on this topic before. On this channel, I primarily cover how to go ahead and grow Instagram pages since that is my business and that is what I enjoy doing. My passion is going ahead and helping you guys and sharing the strategies to do that, to grow your accounts and to make a full-time income from Instagram. But I do get comments sometimes from you guys asking, well, Anthony, like, what about Snapchat? What about YouTube? What about all these other things? And while I don't know much about Snapchat, I don't really use it. I don't know much about Twitter. I don't really use it. I would say I know a decent amount about YouTube. Am I an expert? Probably not. I've grown a channel to 50,000 subscribers. If you want to know how to get to a million, I'm not the best person to ask. Maybe you should go ask PewDiePie, right? But if you are trying to get to 100 subscribers, which is what this video is gonna be on today, 1,000, 10,000, I think it can help you out there. So on this video, I'm gonna share with you my top three tips on how to grow your channel to your first 100 subscribers. My name is Anthony, I run an Instagram marketing agency and also run a one million follower network on Instagram. And I make videos like this to help you take your Instagram account from zero to hero. So make sure you subscribe because this is the Instagram hub. Now I've consumed a lot of YouTube content, even like years and years back as a kid, YouTube was my main platform. I've always watched more YouTube than I watched TV. I've watched more YouTube than I've played video games as a kid. YouTube was always kind of like, you know, that was like always my go-to platform. I've seen channels that die out. I've seen channels that can't get any traction. I've seen channels that blow up to 10,000 subscribers in literally one week. And after seeing all of this and now knowing what I now know about social media, I kind of figured out how to piece together this little puzzle. Me, myself, I have done probably close to five or six YouTube channels in the past, um, none of which got almost any traction. Only one got some traction. My first four channels, I think, failed. We couldn't get over 10 subscribers. I had a one channel where we got, I think, 250 subscribers that eventually died out within like a month. And now this channel has been the first successful YouTube channel growing all the way up to 50,000 subscribers and growing so from someone who has gone ahead I, I, I've, I've done different YouTube channels I've done different niches I've done things I've watched people I've bought courses I've done everything these are the top three things that you need to do now the first one that I see constantly is you need to make content that you yourself would watch when I look back at all of my failed channels the content is absolutely horrendous and before I go any further I want you guys to know this isn't just gonna be a video about you need to make good content. This is gonna be tips, but the biggest tip, like I'm telling you guys, you cannot grow a channel without this. Like if your content isn't content that you yourself would watch, and you have to be hard on yourself with this, right? You have to be hard on yourself. You can't give yourself a pass. You can't think that because it's you, people are going to watch, right? One of the biggest things that I had to come to the realization of, and one of the hardest truths I had to swallow was that nobody cares about me, right? Once I realized that nobody cares about me and nobody's going to watch this video just because it's me and because it'll make my feelings feel good then I was able to say okay how can I make people watch me more importantly how can I make people want to watch me and when you ask yourself that question now you can start asking yourself how you can actually make a good content or better your content but if you stay in this place of you know you know it's my videos and people are going to watch them and you just kind of have like this big inflated ego that people are just gonna watch you because it's you you are never going to ask yourself the proper questions to make your content better so if you're watching your video and you find yourself that you can't stay concentrated on it or you can't watch past the minute because it starts to get boring or it doesn't start off that great or the quality is really low, it kind of hurts your eyes, the uh, mic is so bad that it kind of hurts your ears, everybody else is thinking that same thing. So make a video that you yourself could watch and you enjoy watching it and other people will enjoy watching it as well. If you don't enjoy watching your own videos, then nobody else is going to either. The second tip is be yourself unapologetically. Okay, I see so many people who go ahead, they start up a YouTube channel and they start up in, in, in a niche they, they don't even really care about. They're not even really passionate about it. Maybe they just, they have their favorite content creator and they see their favorite content creator as this like super cool guy or girl and they just kind of want to be like them, right? Maybe they want to make YouTube, YouTube videos in a different niche but they, they just 
you love your favorite content creator, right? So you start making videos like them and you start acting like them, you start talking like them, you start editing like them, you start doing all these things like them that never actually works out in the end because you're not being yourself. So you can't keep up with that style of content. And if you can, in the rare situation that you can, eventually your real self is going to leak out. If you've built a base of let's say 10,000 subscribers of being this fake person, how much longer do you really want to be that fake person and how much longer until you slip up one time and your real personality comes out and the real slangs you use come out, right? It's kind of like me. Sometimes I curse, sometimes I just say fuck. And if I built my whole channel never saying these curse words or being like the guy who doesn't swear, like when I slipped up, everybody would be taken back. People aren't taken back because that's just who I am. That's just how I create content. So be yourself unapologetically. Don't try to copy the person in your niche. Understand that when people are going onto YouTube, they are looking for information or entertainment, right? Now, they are not looking for information or entertainment from lookalikes, right? When you go ahead and you try to find new music, you're not trying to find people with the same flow. You're not trying to find people with the same voice, with the same style. You're trying to find new people with a different style that you can really just get down and jive with. It's the same thing with with YouTube. People are coming to YouTube for information, education, entertainment, and they're just looking to get it from someone. And then you being yourself, that person then develops a connection with you and they will go ahead and subscribe to your channel. So be yourself, be unapologetic about it, and don't just try to be like somebody else. Truly be yourself and own it. The third tip, and this is like so important because when you do those first two things I told you about, when you're being yourself and you're making good content, that's not enough. I've seen people who they master are those two they're themselves they're making great content they're making content that they themselves would watch but they're not getting any subscribers. They could get 5,000 views on a video and maybe 10 subscribers. So why is this? The profile isn't optimized, right? When someone goes from a video to your channel to check out more content and your whole profile just isn't even organized, the meaning you don't have an about section, you have no banner, you have no intro video, you don't have things in playlists, you don't have categories. When you have none of that, you don't have a YouTube channel. You kind of just have this uploading site right? YouTube is just kind of the site that you upload videos to carelessly. You don't actually have a channel. To have a channel, you need a banner, you need an intro video, you need the related channels on the side, you need an about section. You need to have that whole channel looking like an actual channel. Otherwise, people are just gonna be like, is this guy a channel? Is he making content? Or is he kind of just uploading videos as a hobby? Okay. People don't have large uh, YouTube subscriptions. It's not like Instagram. Instagram, it's kind of easy for someone over, you know, a span of one to two years to end up actually genuinely following, you know, maybe 500 to a thousand people. A lot of people are following about that number. But on YouTube, people keep their subscriptions very low. To earn a subscription on YouTube is, is much harder than to earn a follower on Instagram. I would say most people probably have subscriptions below 200, right? Whereas on Instagram, they could easily go into the 500 to 1,000. I myself, I have like 15 subscriptions, right? And I've always been that way. Not just now, but always. I've always had very little subscriptions. Like for me to subscribe to a content creator, you have to be making some banger content. So optimize your profile so that when you have a good video and it starts getting views, when people visit your profile, you will actually convert them into subscribers. Because if you do make a good video and then someone is going to your profile and the profile doesn't look great, nobody's going to sub and now you just wasted on potentially gaining you know, 500 to 1,000 subscribers even more in the long run as that video continues to accumulate and snowball with views. So guys, those are my three tips for gaining your first 100 subscribers on YouTube. If you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you guys want more videos on more social media in general maybe sometimes steer away from Instagram do things like YouTube do things like how to make money on social media or anything like that let me know in the comments I'd love to make more videos like this with all that said make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure you join our Facebook group I'll leave it linked in the description below join our community of people who are growing on Instagram each and every single day and make sure you join our Facebook group I'll leave it linked in the description below go ahead and join Join its community of over 15,000 people who are daily growing their Instagram accounts, helping each other out. It's a community that you definitely want to be a part of. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. Drop this video a like, keep grinding, keep hustling, and I'll see you all on the next one. Mm -hmm.